Hey everybody, Kevin Elliott here with Home Dabbers. Have you ever wanted to raise chickens and didn't quite know where to start? Uh, you don't know how much space you need, how many chickens should I get to start with, how much is it going to cost, and you're a little bit scared, but you want to try. No problem, I'm going to help you out. In this video, I'm going to give you a few basic things to start your very own chicken flock in the backyard. You're going to love it. Here's the first thing. How many chickens should I get? You really only need to start a flock? Two. Okay? Don't get one chicken. They are social. They like to be with each other. So don't just get one, but get at least two, up to four. When we started, we had four chickens. Okay? So you don't need many to get going. I recommend that you start really, really small and then build up from there. Which leads me into another um, part of chicken raising, which is their environment, their space. Um, what do I need for a coop? This is my coop behind me back here. Here's the thing, and here's the key that you must remember, is that chickens don't like a lot of space. They don't need that much, actually. The very first coop I built, I built this big deluxe thing. It had all this space for them, and all my chickens gathered up on one of the little rungs in there because they like to sleep really, really close together. Don't go online and look at Pinterest or wherever, and people have these big, big elaborate coops, and there's all this fancy stuff. No, I built that out of like parts of a fence or something like that. What they really need out of a coop, the space where they sleep, is to have a cover over the top so the rain doesn't get them, and have a few walls so the wind doesn't blow in, and a few rungs inside. You can use um, two by fours cut in half, or you can use um, shovel handles, like broom handles and stuff. Chickens want to sleep on a tree branch, really, is what it boils down to. The next thing about them is their nest box, which is what this is right here. So. Here's my nest box, okay? All this is is a simple little box that I built. It has a few swinging doors on it, some little cruddy piece of metal over the top of it. It has some wire in the bottom, and then I get, I get shredded paper from the office, and I throw it in there, and it's free, and the chickens love laying in it. It is biodegradable. So your nest box can be just as simple as that. And look, look at this. Eggs. <laughs> Now I'm going to talk about one of the most important chicken safety tips there are, and that is keeping your chickens safe at night. The really, really, really dangerous predators are the ones who come out at night. Those are your foxes. Um, raccoons are a really, really, really bad one for us. All around my coop, right, my, where they sleep, is a chain link enclosure, and that is called a run. So nest box, coop and then the run that goes around the outside. This is crucial. If you don't keep them safe at night, you will have attacks, you will lose chickens. There are two ways to do that. You can use a, you can do a run like I have where I've closed in like a whole area all around their coop, all around their nest box, and they are safe at night. We shut the door and nothing gets in, all right? The other way to do that, if you don't have um, enough room to build a big run or something like that, you can simply build a coop that has a shut door on it and you lock that door at night and you lock them in that box. That is super important to keep those predators out. The only downside to that is you have to come out every morning and open that door to let them out. My coop has an, an open door on this side so they can come out in the morning and scratch around while uh, until we get out here to let them out. Nest box, coop, run. The next question is, how much space do they need to scratch? You've seen crickets, chickens scratch, right? They love to scratch. Here's the thing. Chickens need dirt. They don't just like dirt, they need dirt for a couple of reasons. One is their natural instinct to scratch. They just want to scratch around in the dirt all the time. They're looking for bugs, they're looking for grass seeds and all kinds of things. The other thing they need dirt for, and this is very important, is they need to dust bake. Chickens will dig a hole in the dirt and you'll see them lay down on their side and they flop all out with their wings all weird like this and they'll throw dirt up on themselves. Okay, that's a way they clean the bugs and the mites and the lice and the stuff off of their skin. It keeps them healthy, it keeps them clean, okay? So now you don't have to give them all kinds of medications to keep the bugs off, let the dirt do it. So what do chickens eat? All right, there really are a couple of kinds of food. Babies eat what they call chicken crumbles. All right, they're crumbles. You can go to your, your farm and garden, ask for chicken crumbles, they'll give them to you. And the babies will eat that up until about six months old. After that, you switch them over to what they call layer pellets. And it's, they're like little pellets. Same thing, go to your farm and garden, ask for layer pellets. They'll give you a bag of the right stuff, okay? After that, 
That's pretty much what they need as far as basic diet, but then you can give them kitchen scraps. We love giving them kitchen scraps. So if you make a salad, you have the ends of the celery, the, the butts of the carrots, all that stuff, throw it out the back door. They'll take care of it. They're better than goats. And they'll recycle that food into eggs, water. All they really need is fresh water, okay? The simple, clean, fresh water. And our favorite way to do it is an automatic stainless steel dog bowl. We discovered this years ago, and we won't be without it. We love our automatic dog bowl, and that way, if we go out of town or something, my chickens have water all the time, and we aren't worried about their bowl drying up. So really, that's the basics. Start small, okay? Just a couple chickens to start with. See if you like it. Make sure you're going to get into the rhythm of it. Give them a coop to sleep in, a nest box to lay in, and a run of some sort to stay safe at night. A little bit of dirt. Food and water. That's it. Chickens are pretty low maintenance creatures. And if you do that, I am pretty sure you're going to get hooked on them like we have. You'll be raising chickens the whole rest of your life. At least that's what I hope. If you have any questions or want to read further about chickens, go to my blog, homedabbler.com. I have a whole chicken page right there, all kinds of articles. If you're trying to start your own flock and you and you hit a snag, you can't quite figure it out, message me through the Facebook page. I'm always here to help. I love talking about this stuff, and I'll give you all the pointers that you need. What's that? Where did I get this super awesome chicken design t-shirt? Oh, in the Home Dabbler store, of course. Go to homedabbler.com slash store. Click the shop now button. Check out all the chicken merchandise. Get you some. Try some chickens this spring and see if you fall in love just like we did. Thanks. <laughs>